going on guys this is resurrected mods uh, today i am on a buddy of mine uh, each account and uh, today we're going to be doing a uh, clan box team um, currently his team is running a ultimate budget unkillable uh, it, it just doesn't run the way he wants it to um, there's too much rng um, and i've said this before only build budget unkillables unless that's your absolute last chance um so what we are going to be building is the war mbat uh, that's man eater and uh warcaster and seeker uh and i'm going to be building this team uh this is my very first time logging on this account i kind of just told him to get warcaster up to 60 and i'll build him a an unkillable team um i have no idea what the gear looks like um Let's see, we got 1,200 pieces, so I will probably do a gear cleanse for him. Um, it looks like a lot of it's going to be unupgraded too. Let's see. Uh, yeah, this is going to this is going to be a tough one. Um, he, he's got enough silver for it. I'm going to try not to bleed through all of his silver. Uh, I'm going to be mindful of that uh my ultimate goal is just to get him a team that is consistent and a team that'll run um so i'm not going to record this whole thing as it's going to take a long time i'm going to use the hell hades tool we're going to find builds i'm going to build them going to make sure all of that's running correctly uh, and once i've done a couple of tests i will be back and i will show you guys the builds that i did all right guys we're back um it took me quite a while. It took me uh, <laughs> took me three hours to build this team. It took a lot of testing, um, a lot of runs just to make sure that it was working correctly. Um, and I will say these speeds are extremely tight, extremely tight. Um, so I'm going to go through and show you guys the builds. I will start off with Dracomor. Um He's running at 215 speed. Um, with enough accuracy and then just a damage build. His masteries um, went down this route. Uh, honestly, you could go down the route with uh, the counter attack. It really doesn't matter. I just didn't want to redo his masteries. They were already done this way, so I just left them. Um, but Chad, you could do that. Um, like I said, it's just a damage build with enough accuracy and the correct speed. Um, let's go into uh man eater man eater is the same way the correct speed with as much damage as i could pile on um let's see seeker same thing correct speed with as much damage as i could pile on and um i i didn't finish upgrading everything um would you guys want to watch out for for example this piece right here i probably wouldn't take it to 16 just because it has a chance to roll into speed this one however i could take to 16 because it's already rolled the max amount of rolls and it's not going to roll into speed same thing with this uh savage weapon so you could leave that like that um obviously the crit damage you could take that to 16. um i just didn't want to drain his silver completely down so I'll let him upgrade that step as he goes. Um, let's see here. Um, Barrack and the Fat. Damage build. Same thing with enough accuracy and the correct speed. Masteries just went down with that. Again, you could go down with the counter attack mastery. Uh, this is one of the ones that was already built with masteries and I just didn't want to redo it. Seeker, I went down the counter attack one. Um, and the last person is where are they at? I pass him. Warcaster. Uh, I don't have any masteries, but I would do the counter attack with the uh, the life drinker. You know, typical offense clan bar. One right here, and then uh, the crit damage, and then here, and here, and then all the way down, and then you know the same thing as uh seeker i would follow that um 
and war cat is the same way just built with the correct speed and as much damage as i could possibly get um again you could take the crit damage all the way up um any of the ones that aren't going to affect speed you can take the 16 in hopes of getting like attack or something um that that's up to that guy i'm gonna leave that as it is this works the way it works um so that's all the builds um i don't need to go individually in every piece of gear um and go through all that so i will go through the setups and um let's slide this uh hold on so right here is your brutal setup and you have to manual it like this all the way to right here after seeker does that a1 you can hit auto nightmare once it loads uh you have to manual all the way to this seeker and then once seeker does that a1 you can hit auto um so this one right here you gotta manual all that and then auto after this one and then ultra nightmare um you have to manual it all the way to let's see all the way to right here after warcaster does this move right here um you can auto it so you manual it all the way to warcaster and then auto from there um we will do an ultra nightmare run and i will show you guys how to follow along it's really simple all right guys we're back uh, i got a phone call so i had to step away for a second uh the team setup does not matter at all because none of these are going to be auto from the start i just have them inputted on the team you really don't have to put them in a team setup uh you take off start on auto and we're just going to go through and we're going to follow all of these and uh all the way up until this war tactic right here and then it's going to be full auto so a2 a1 i'm not going to read off all of these you can see what i'm following right here And then auto right there and uh, now that it's full auto um we're, we're good we're good to go um so i am going to um cut out real quick cut my face out of here um and then we will uh i'll speed up the run and let you guys watch the whole run <laughs>
All right, guys, uh, we're back as we see 12 minute run, 55 million damage on Ultra Nightmare. Uh, that was a pretty solid run, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, you, if you don't have great gear, you're probably gonna be around 45 to 50 mil. Um, if you have insane gear, you can definitely one key with this team. Um, but I want to bring you guys to the attention of. Uh, the setup I actually let's like just blow this up so on ultra nightmare like I said we need to manual it all the way to right here so you follow this you follow this you follow this and then after war character you can full auto you can't take this done on seeker man eater or war character if you take this done on any of those you need to restart the run and hopefully RNG is on your side. There are certain things that you can do to fix that. I'm not going to go into all of those details because it's quite a bit. Um, but just know that if it uh, the stun goes to one of those champions, your run will fail. Uh, but let's look at Nightmare. Um, a Nightmare, like I said, you need to manual it all the way to here. And then after this turn on Seeker, um, it's full auto. So on this one, uh, you can't take this done on man eater. Uh, you can take this done on man eater. I just don't think you can take this done on war caster. Um, you can't take this done. Yeah, you can't take this done on war caster. Uh, but if you take this done on man eater or seeker, you should be okay because they're not trying to use their move right there. Um, so you should be okay, um, but just if you run fail somewhere right here, just know that it's probably because of the stun. But I believe um, since they're not using their main skills right here after the stun, I don't think it matters. Uh, like I said, work after it does because if he takes the stun, uh, you're not in a good spot. Um, and then brutal. So brutal, you are going to manual it all the way to right here. Um, so that means let's get out of here. It means you got to manual all this and all of this. You can take a oh, wait. No, I'm not ready. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Oh, you have to manual it to you right here. Um, everything else you can full auto. So, you can't take this down on Seeker. Uh, you could take this down on Man Eater or Warcaster, because if they go right here, he's still going to use his move right here. Um, and then I believe the second stun on Brutal. Um, the second stun can't go on Seeker as well. Um, after that, everything is, is good. So you just want to avoid Seeker, Man Eater, and War Caster if at all possible. Uh, I don't think on. So we got this done here, and then this done here. Okay, so the same thing applies for uh, Nightmare, Ultra Nightmare. However, um, you're protected on. Um, I thought you were protected on everybody. Could be wrong. No, you are protected on everybody but Draco Moore. So you can uh, you could take this down on any of the champions on the second turn. And then right here, uh, you can't take this down on Man Eater or um, War Tactic. So as you can see here, when they go invisible like that, that means the buff dropped off of them when they take this turn. So Man Eater or more Caster cannot take the second stun um, on Nightmare. And then Brutal, the second stun. You, you're good on the second stun. So, uh, yeah, just kind of look out for that. Um, that'll kind of help you understand. Make sure you follow the rules. Um, and I'll post a screenshot of the setups. Um, at the end of the video that way you can take a screenshot and i will do it from left to right i'll have them in three columns i'll have ultra nightmare in one column 
Nightmare in one column and Brutal in one column. Uh, and I'll label that as well. Um, let's go into the game. Um, so he put in a key earlier, not with this team, but with another team. And it was like 6 million or something like that. Um, so I would say we definitely improved his, his game. He won keys nightmare now. Um, I did run a test. I didn't finish the key cause I wanted to use the key on ultra nightmare. He won keys nightmare, one keys brutal and two keys ultra nightmare with this team. Uh, again, the gear is not crazy. Um, I would definitely follow all of the setups that I post. Um, make sure you watch out for the stuns. Um, and other than that, it should be a fairly easy team. Once you get past the first and second stun, you get, it doesn't matter who the stun hits. Um, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. And I really hope this helps you guys build a, uh, a combat team.